I guess we're starting a little early. Um, yeah. So. Um. Okay. Sorry about the unnatural uh, start. Ugh, had a bit of a medical emergency. Had to give myself some insulin. Rip my uh, temporary IV out. You know, all the fun stuff that goes along with being a diabetic. Okay. I mean, just give, give me a minute. Give me one, one second. Welcome, everybody, to the latest edition and newest episode of Kyle Emblem. This is going to be part nine, which is uh, the best part, obviously, in my opinion. Um, yeah, last week was pretty good. We did like a solid two and a half hours. I don't know if we're going to get quite there this week, uh, but, you know, we're going to try. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Hopefully I'll enjoy it. And hopefully uh, can kill these baddies. Looks like we're, we're doing some sort of a mountain mis mountain mission. I think we got to go up as they roll rocks down, which they had a similar mission in the in the first game, so who knows. But let's jump into it. All right. So, I'm going to bump this music up real quick. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Maybe, maybe scotch more. Just a, just a scotch. Maybe a little bit less. All right. So... Let's jump into it. I think we're good. I think I saved from last time. Okay. What do we got? Okay, so we got some allies. Holy crap, this is a big map. Oh my god. Alright. Do they have... Okay, so they don't have rocks this time, but they do have Belliste. And let's see what these guys are actually hitting. Alright, so I'm good. See what happens. Come on, Ranolf. Not very inspiring, Ranolf. Come on. You gotta, you gotta give me, give me a bit more edge than what you're giving me right now. No, Kaiser. On the other hand, why is this guy not moving? What do you got? You got a Lagoon Stone. Guess we can use that. Let's get you started. Things going. I'm like ready, I'm ready to go. Wow! Amazingly, Boyd did his job and did it well. Amazing. See, now the thing is, I believe these guys could jump down. Which, hey, if you want to do that to yourself, go right ahead. Oof. Kaiser, you're not very strong or good at defense. What the heck? Ouch. Ouch. I mean, yeah. Go use up everything. I guess the people that I don't really care about. Come on, you can hit him one more time. What are you doing? Both these guys, man. What the heck? They're so, like... I don't know, man.
this is as fast as I can do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Got some XP for Mist. Look at that, she's doing her job. That's good enough. Okay. Now the big question is will they let me get up here? Uh, I don't think it'll let horses get up there, unfortunately. Maybe I should send someone else back. Alright, let's see what mischief we can get up to with, uh... Man, I... I... I don't know... See, that just doesn't fill me with confidence. I'll send you Oscar. Let's see what we can do. Good. You can actually dodge. Great. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We shouldn't. <laughs> Alright, I'll send you three up there. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go. Every time, man. Music always gets me every time. It's so good. It's a lot of fun. I think it's... So oh, that was close. Ooh, forgot about that. I didn't realize they put them that far up. 
That would have been really bad. Especially since he's like my only decent healer. Alright, let's see if Oscar can get up this hill decently. At least they can heal themselves. At least this can do that to himself. Alright, so Oscar cannot get up the hill. It is not possible for him to do that. So what I'm hoping is. That Rolf here can do his freaking job and kill this guy. Good job. That's what I was hoping for. Should've done that the first time. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta give myself some meds. Not those kind of meds. Kill this guy, and then uh, should be good. I just can't move any of my weaker characters down until he's done. Okay, well, he's not even gonna go after him, so I guess it didn't really matter. And that barely hurt. Oof. The most powerful bow in the entire game, and he can't like use it properly. Come on, hip again. There we go. guys. Soren's completely useless so far. I always love when that happens. So I don't... I think I can only go up with certain characters. I can't go up with half the... the cavalry. Really? Nice. Good. Alright, let's see what happens. Very nice. So really, I didn't have to split up my team at all. <laughs> That's... That's what I'm. That's what I'm really getting out of this. Okay. 
Hit him again! There we go. Great. Come on. Good evening. Best weapon. Where's my move? Alright, let's go. Great. Healing time. I'm gonna wait till I, I think next turn. Well, I guess not. to overuse my guys too much, but Ike is just so good. Ooh, you're very lucky that you are dodging. Good luck. Oof. Oh, 
Alright, I think we're good for the most part. I mean, only so many people can move, but I think we're good. Uh, how do I want to take this? I guess I'll just bring people up here. That's what it's coming down to. You know what I'll do? I'm gonna send... Oh man, I really shouldn't. Let's just send everyone up this way. Try and get some healing XP done. Okay. You are out of shots. That's, that's all we can do right now. Good. We still get hit by that, dude. Okay. It. Please be critical. One of them. No, you, you didn't. You didn't help me at all. Not the slightest. See what happens. That's not good. That's really not good. If void. Oh. oh my gosh. That was like a comedy of errors.
Ouch. Oh, come on, you can't hit him up. This is ridiculous. Whatever. I'm just gonna drag this out. Great. I guess some of our guys get more XP. At least missed. from start to finish without dying or losing anybody. Amazing. Got real close.
General Zelgius' plan succeeds in breaking the morale and momentum of the Lagoo's forces. Skrimir accepts a challenge to single combat with Zelgius and barely escapes with his life. His defeat sends a wave of doubt and fear through the Lagoo's alliance. Ranulf, knowing that the situation has turned against them, orders a full retreat, and the beast tribes use the three days offered by Zelgius to recross the Riban and begin the long march back to Gallia. Racing. Oh, wait, no. There you go. Yeah, 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 I was racing. <coughs> Alright. Gotta go back some. So close to being unable to uh, advance. Defense went up. Amazing. I'm so proud. Everybody's defense went up a tiny bit. than any of these. That's not good. Oh, Har, you wonderful man. Corrosion. Cause an enemy's unit equip weapon to lose... Endurance points equal to the unit's level. I, I guess? It doesn't really seem super good to me. But whatever. Why do I have no money? I don't need that.
can't believe. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. We'll do uh, the the white sword. We'll do we'll do blue. Jeez, I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> Those darn senators. Nice. 
I'm important with these attacks here. It's gonna take forever. Come on. Kitty. Wolf can actually get some uh, decent EXP with this. Oh, come on. Are you freaking kidding me? What is this?
Come on. Why can you not hit me again? I don't understand. I've got my supports. I weren't expecting that. Come on. Oof, that not good.
How do you, how do you not hit that twice? I really genuinely don't understand. Okay, we can do this. Kind of in a bit of a tight spot for a minute here. Actually, we gotta heal up. And, well, I'm just gonna take care of these guys. Hara, that would be great, except you don't attack twice. So there's really no point in you canceling the attack other than to negate his one attack. You're lazy. It's just what you are. Okay. Hey, viewer. How are you doing? You've been here before, like Fire Emblem? Let it be known what your preferences are. 
when it comes to video games. Ari's really good at taking a beating. Like, he will be pummeled. I just wish he dodged more for being as high level as he is. You'd think he would. Should be able to mow these guys down. Being as like 50% of them are already at 50%. It's the beauty of support system. And Oscar is just getting a ton of uh, XP here. Once again, support system. Oscar's on fire. Oof. So many freaking horses, man. Hello! What's up, ninja? How you doing? What's going on tonight? Anything fun? <laughs> I have two, technically. Uh, but they're all used up now. I just have to survive for ten turns, so there's not really a, a point in me uh, standing there anymore. I have a feeling Oscar's not going to attack twice. No, oh, he is. Oh, he surprised me. Good, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, it's just called Retreat, so it's really just like you're running away. Soren's the best. He really, really is. I love him. He's a little racist, but we forgive him because he he had a hard life. But he's super powerful, which is why I always level him up. And I pair him with Ike uh, for the support system because I always have them together, except for right now they're like a, you know, kind of opposite ends of the map. He's not... Race in the first game, he was a little racist. He was like, he didn't like the the Laboos, the animal people. Um, he called them like subhumans. But the only reason he did that was because he's branded, which is um, he's like a he's like a hybrid. He is like his mom or his dad was human, and the other was uh, Laboos. So he that's why he's so good at magic. But it makes him an outcast, so he doesn't like Legos because he thinks that he shouldn't be... Uh, he, he should have been born normal, and he resents that, so he's sort of racist. But he's learning to be better in, this, in the second game. He's, he's much more tolerable. In the first game, he was just like straight up like, I hate you people because of what you are. <laughs> but he, got, he learned. He, he learned a little bit. He got better. Yeah, I always just feel sorry for him, because it's like, man, like he's got a hard life. He, um, I don't know. Just kind of... I want him to, to be happy. Let's see if I can kill this mounted arrow dude. 
So close. Oh, I have freaking gay cheese right here. Totally forgot about it. Favorite unit in this campaign? Um, I mean, Ike is great because he's just a powerhouse. Oscar is actually really, he's super solid. I mean, he's already maxed out, as you can see, on like skill and speed. Um, and he just looks very happy. Um, but I really like Soren, just because he's, you know, magic would be my preferred method of, of attack. Um, yeah, so I don't know. There's there's a bunch of different people. Sothe is really cool, but you have to, like, really grind him until he's, like, super good. And I don't know. It just depends. And you have so many people to choose from. Like, just so many. I remember playing the original Fire Emblem for GBA, and Pent was the guy, like, the sage that you find in the desert, and he was just, like, the coolest character. Just, like, his whole look and animation in the in the GBA game was just so awesome. I freaking love Pent. He's great. I think I remember, like, we were on an RV trip or something, and I was watching you play that game, and you got to that part, and I was like, who is that? Like, I want to get that guy when I play. He was like the, he was like the student to the Arch Sage, like the super powerful wizard dude. Something like that. Just have three more turns, and we have two more turns, and I'm. Hey, he leveled up. He should be level 20. Right? Eight, 19. 19. Oh, wow. Huge level up. You got one plus magic for a non magic user. Great job, Fire Emblem. He's gonna heal this guy. I'm gonna bring Ike back up because he's getting a little hairy. I'll heal him up. I'm also going to have Har heal. And then I think... I'm going to bring you back. I have Mist heal you. At least as much as she can. You over here. These guys are good. So the cool thing is, Soren is... Pretty, pretty baller right now. And he could actually take on all of these magic users himself. So I think I'll bring him out of the hiding and let him go to town. Look at that. He's just so good already. He's only level 11. He hasn't even, like, upgraded his, his class. I forget what he becomes when you, like, actually upgrade him. But I know it's cool. I don't think these guys can come up here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at I'm I'll, I'm gonna be fine. I'm at turn eight of ten. It's actually going better than I thought. That's not these huge knights with javelins. What the heck? Ugh. This is so annoying. Alright, good. He's, he's doing okay. Made all the mages so strong in the first one, I think. Yeah. Urk! I remember Urk. His little orange dude. Or he had, like, orange... He was, like, a fire mage or something like that. I remember Urk. Yeah, for me it was, um... In the, in the games... Was it Jafar? It was, like, the assassin. And you could, like, get him on your side. And he was just, like, super... Like, he could, like, one-hit KO people. Like, all the time. I remember, and it was, like, really hard to get him on your side. Otherwise, you had to, like, kill him. I freaking... That was so much fun. Those games. 
I should play that game on, on an emulator. That would be fun. Erk, Matthew, Guy, Guy, I remember Guy. He was like the Myrmidon. He could become a sword master, I think. It was great. Ouch. Matthew and the, yep. Yeah, yeah, Matthew was a thief. I, I remember. Once again, it really kind of bugs me sometimes how high-level characters... Like, he's level 12. He should be attacking twice every time. Every every time he gets into a fight, he should attack twice. And same thing, like, Gaetri, level 13, basically level 14, he only attacks once. Um, Titania sometimes only attacks once. Horror only attacks once. And I just, I don't understand, like, once you get them really high level, they should, they should be hitting twice. And I just, I don't know. It's like, it's a speed stat thing. It's got 21 speed. Like, I don't... 24. 21. 24. 20. I, I don't know. It's like, it seems really high for, for them to consistently not do it. But, whatever. Whatever, man. I really hope these guys don't go after Soren somehow. <laughs> that would be real bad. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring Titania around. Because they can't get through that. Oh, how it, how it compares to the enemies? I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I think that just speaks to... They made this game, like, really... Like, this guy has an, a speed modifier of 18. If Gaethje goes up against him, he has a, what, a plus three? against that guy like that he should definitely be after 10 double tax for usually think. yeah it just seems way 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 more uh consistently unfair in this game like they make it really hard for no reason Ugh. gosh he takes so much damage from magic attacks All right, come on, Har. You got this. See, again, like, I need to check what that guy's speed is, but... I think this is the last round. Return. Oof. Gosh, these freaking mages, man. What's also... Dude, I keep hearing about it. It sounded like fun. I think I saw the trailer like a while ago. Um, but it looked like fun. There, see, like, she attacked twice. As I would expect. Dude, the Mirror's Edge on crack sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I saw your uh, your tweet or your your uh, Instagram story about it. it. Sounded like a lot of fun. All right, yeah. So this is the last last turn. I've never seen the trailer and just being like, wow, this is different. Um, Great. 
Held down the fort with no casualties. I know, I was so happy. I'm just gonna use some vulnerabilities to get these guys. Always try to get your, uh, Sorry, I'm watching uh, election results right now on, on my phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know, exactly. That's what I was saying. Like, you gotta make sure you get your healers in whenever possible. Gosh dang, every three times in a row, he hasn't been able to dodge that, that fire attack, and it hurts him so much. Corrosion. Run away! Ooh, that's not good. That's what you get. Yeah, send that mage up. Good luck against my strongest magic user. Oh, you're gonna he's gonna take the easy way out and try and go after the the uh, paladin with, for some reason, very high magic resistance. Good idea. Ooh, one XP. All right, so you basically just one. I just did that. yay. Without dying on the first the first try, it like never happens. Zooming, I'm zooming. That's right, Connor. Sigrun. Oh. Please escape at once. Because the apostle's in danger. I think I think she's like being held against her will or something. I can't remember entirely. Ugh. Yeah, that's what it was. The prime minister got stripped of his power even though he's like a he like knows god <laughs> he's like friends with god or had a relationship with one of the gods or something I, he's like ancient or something i can't remember oh i think we're switching back over to uh yeah peleus and micaiah Ugh. i hate the dumb brigade so much they're so boring <laughs> except for sothe Curse those senators. Exactly. She's crazy. The mother of Peleus. She's like, actually cray cray. <laughs> Mobilize the army. See, he's he's super racist. He says subhuman. Uh, we call them lagoos. It's like super not okay to say that. You can't just ask why somebody's a subhuman. During the war between <laughs> the lagoos pretty racist. and Ben, the three remaining countries on Tellius, Dayton, Crimea, and Goldova, have thus far remained neutral. In Dayan, the war for independence is over, and Prince Peleus has been crowned king. Dayan is now free from Benyan's rule, and is once again universally recognized as a sovereign nation. Micaiah decides to honor the promise she had made, and continue on as the general of Dayan's armies until the country stabilizes. Most of her companions remain by her side, helping to restore their beloved country. It is their hope that Dayan will recover soon, both politically and socially. 
Focused as they are, they realize that they can spare no time on outside concerns, including the current war in Benyon. However, King Peleus has a mysterious change of heart and orders Micaiah into the war on Benyon's side. Great. Okay. I think I might do one more mission. It'll be three. And I'll call it a night after that. Sorry, I got like a crap ton of notifications all of a sudden. Okay. Um, yay, it's Sethi. Sethi. As she says in her wispy voice. Sethi. I know, he's so cool. He's got like a vest thingy on. I want like green emo hair and coordinate it with my look and my bracers and a cool weird neck cape thing. Oh, see, the music changed, so you know they're talking about something serious. I feel like you could pull off a pretty cool Sophie uh, cosplay costume, Jimmy. I, th I think you could you could definitely pull that off. You've got like the same build where you're like you're pretty skinny. I don't know. Stuff stuff looks better on you than I feel like most people who try to do it. So do with that what you will. That's so much stuff. So much XP to spend. I also think they changed the ratio of this, like, you get all this extra XP. Um, and just to, like, level up people, sometimes you get, like, a thousand XP, and to level them up, like, once is, like, 1,200. And it's like, well, what, what are we doing? Like, why give me what seems like a ton of XP when really it's, it's not? He's from the last game. Let's pull up a little bit. Oh, Jill. I love Jill. She's great. I do not like Meg at all. I don't think that's actually going to be... Yeah, that'll be awesome. Alright, how much money do I have? Not a lot. <laughs> Not very much. <laughs> that's more talking. I'll just speed through this stuff most of the time. I, like, never use the Master Crown. I'm, like, a purist who I want to... Um, you know, like, l level them up as much as possible before they make the jump to the next stage. Give me a bow! This beautiful blow. Look, 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 nasad? Exactly, exactly. Why wouldn't you want to? Like, He's good. He's fine. He's good. He needs a Volnery. He needs a Volnery. Everybody needs Volneries. What if so much cool stuff I can buy? A silver sword already? I should definitely buy this for Leo. Even though he can't use it. Oh no, I'm so poor now. Whatever. I'll give it to Zyhard. I'm not going to use half these people anyway, so there's really no point. Oh, well, you know what? I wonder if I can sell stuff. Uh, it's chugging. I 
think... Pretty sure... Yeah, I was gonna say one of them is... Alright, I'm gonna save. And we'll do this, do this next mission. That night... Who it be? Who is this? Uh -huh. Scrimmer. Scrimmer. I forget what they're doing. I think they're just retreating. Yeah, right? Randolph's got awesome hair and he's got heter heterochromia or whatever. Is that all that cool character stuff that you know he's important? Without that, how would you know he was important? Sylvie's not cut out for this kind of work. He doesn't do enough damage. Oh, this is not this is not good. I might have to restart and rethink this. Well she didn't take that much damage. Guess that's good. Ooh, that does a decent amount of damage. Pretty cool. Mm. All right, Zyhark, I guess, can do this. Oh, that's good. That did almost nothing. All right, that did a lot more. Thank goodness, because I was really worried for a second. I mean, in all honesty, I shouldn't have put Makaya over here, but I do what I have to do. Nice! Wow, holy crap, my helpless people are shielded with useless light. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> she can, She can protect my healer. Why are my guys so, like, powerful? <laughs> I have, like, four of them, and they're really strong. <laughs> they're, like, never, ever this effective. Ooh, got a cat fight going on. Dude! They take, like, no damage. What the heck? This is, this is weird. This is weird that they're this effective. Hit him again! He tried to kick me. What a loser. Right, I think we're good on that side. Let's hold my guys here and here. Boom! I hit you with the wind and you died. Again, like, I don't really want to move too far. I forgot she had a Brave Axe. I'll use that for sure. Jeez. That guy kicked me and did, like, nine damage. Ridiculous. Bring him up, I guess. 
I need him. I need him to get more XP, my archer, because he can be really good. I just haven't put the time and effort into him. Um, I'll bring Makai over here. Let's see what happens. All right. Yes. Good. Meg, you can just do whatever. I don't really give a crap about you. Like, if you if you intentionally make your character not look interesting or look like. I don't know, not fun to use. I'm not gonna use them. Meg is definitely one of those characters. <laughs> okay, that guy took a reasonable amount of damage, but man, the like little cats don't really do much comparatively. Heavy armor knights are just like that. Now the damage is starting to pile on. Yeah. Well, that's why I like Gaytree, because he's really strong. Um, but you just have to level him up for him to become effective. And it, you just, just have to keep grinding, really. I and mean, there's nothing, not much to it. Once again got punched in the side and died and got really hurt okay so he can't be hit if I bring him over here also oh he leveled up that's good he's so close you can do it I believe in you I don't want to go like that far. Uh, I'll give him the killing edge, I guess, just in case he gets a crit. Oof. Yep. That's why I did it. Okay. You leveled up. Good. See what he does. Ooh, holy crap! Wow. I'm getting really lucky with these crits. Take out a brave bow? Oh my gosh! I gotta give that immediately to Leo if he doesn't die. Okay, I don't think they can hurry him, so he should be fine. I know, right? Oh, dude, you were supposed to, like, protect me. So strong. Kick! Oh wow. Wow! I'm I'm very impressed. Gotta say. Oops. I think my archer is gonna die. <laughs> I have a feeling. Jeez. Oh my gosh. He did so little damage. <gasps> Why? If my guy had stayed there, he would have been fine. This is why I hate the Dawn Brigade, because they are critically underpowered. Like, my my computer allies are stronger than I am in so many different areas. I don't... I don't... <sighs> Alright. I'm going to restart because I genuinely don't want to lose Leonardo. Let's try this one more time. I don't think this is a long level either, so it shouldn't take too long. I saved right before it, so it's not like it's... Good. Great. I know. I know. And once he gets that promotion, like, that's a huge, huge stat boost. So it's really, like, really important. All right, I'm not going to do the stupid thing of sending my guys up without knowing. Why does this feel slower? 
Wow. Wow. Holy crap. It took so much damage. I guess I really don't necessarily want him to do that. Woohoo! Dodge it. Oh. I'll bring Sophie over here. I'll bring him to the other side instead. See what he does. Yep. It's not really going to be effective, but... At least he's doing something. Alright. Let my allies take care of some of these guys for me. Oh my gosh. Why didn't my guys take care of that guy? I, they did last time. It's really weird. I can't follow what this computer is thinking. Which I guess, you know, is a good thing. The good thing is, Makai is actually pretty baller. Great. need this guy to heal it. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I'm okay. Dang, dude. Punch! It's like, I feel like this computer is sometimes smart. Like, it, it, it can anticipate what I'm going for. Yeah, okay, good. So, like, I was hoping that he would heal my most hurt character, and he did. Thank you. Everybody run away. <laughs> Great. I probably shouldn't put her there, but I'm going to anyway. Oh, you know what? I'll put... I'll do... I'll put Sophie there next to her. Nice. This is exactly what I was hoping would happen. Jill. Oh my gosh. That bow is ridiculous. And he leveled up. Just don't die this time.
Ooh. Wow. So close. This is ridiculous. Alright. Yeah, I'm good. I, I haven't even checked what the objective is. I completely forgot. Really glad I put Sophie there now. I don't think they can cross the the river that far. I don't think so. Yeah. Ooh. These guys are so, they dodge more than my characters do. It's, that's not fair. Holy crap, I didn't realize there was a guy that close. Nice. See? She's like great. She's super weak, but she's pretty strong. I also love her gold, love, yeah, leveled her up a little bit uh, the last time I played with her, so I think she's better now. I think she got some sort of an upgrade. Need that, but okay. I'm gonna let I'm just gonna let that guy deal with everything. I'll let him wear the enemy down. Nice. Okay, or, you know, you could not do that. That's fine, too. I'm literally in the exact... Okay, thank God somebody moved to replace that guy. That moved, because that was really bad. This mage... This, um... Healer is on point. Like, seriously, he's... Keeping track of who needs... Who needs what. Yeah, I think I think this one's going way smoother because I completely forgot what to anticipate last time. Um, <clears throat> no, that's not good. I have to defeat the enemies. That's okay. That's oh boy. Um. That's going to be really difficult. Okay, I actually have to change my strategy a little bit if that's that's what we're doing. All right. I mean, it's possible. It's just holy crap, there's like a lot of people. Just make sure that my people can move where I need them to move. Come on. Give me a crit. I think I need to rescue him. Run away! Just drop him right there. He's fine, like, health-wise. Really does little to nothing. At least I hard leveled up. Yeah, I mean, I need this guy to heal Sothe, really. Well, not really, because none of the other guys can attack him. That bad thing? I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what happens. Good. That's exactly exactly what I needed to have happen. That's good.
Come on. There we go. She might get hit. I, I'm gonna keep going. She's she was. I leveled her up so much, and she's still so weak. I just I really need Sophie to start dodging this, these crazy attacks. I didn't realize from the beginning that the objective was to kill everyone. I thought that it was just to survive. That's so and they're all they're all Oh. Well that makes a difference. I was wondering, I was like, that's that's such a huge Okay. Oh, now we feel bad about Jill dying. Because <laughs> if she just held on for one more match, she would have been perfectly fine. Whatever. I'll send the, the Black Knight up here. I know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta rethink my, my strategy over here. I'm just gonna let, I'm just gonna like move everyone back and have everyone, everyone go to him instead. <laughs> It'd be way easier team management. To get my XP. Oh yeah. Except Zyhart. He can stay, because he's great. And I want to level him up more. I I was almost gonna say something has to happen because that's like I've killed like 15 so far, maybe maybe 12. That's like 40 enemies for my little ragtag group of like 10 people. That's a lot. Especially with them not being like particularly powerful. Kicking butt, man. Ridiculous. You served me well. Thank you, good sir. Just needs a better sword. He'd be super effective if he just had like a higher attack uh, or damage sword. Literally just sending. Black Knight in. Boom. Great. He's so dodgy. I love Zyhard, man. He's great. He's just leveling up so fast. <laughs> just keep him out there. Come on, are you kidding me? All right. Yeah, sorry, Jill, but I, I really I can't deal with you right now. You're a cool character, but not cool enough. Dude, this archer is ridiculous. He's so much stronger than my own archer and can actually take a hit. Crazy.
He leveled up. Ooh, he's got damn muscles. Oh, he finally took a hit. And then killed the guy. So strong. best she can. I know. I'm just gonna heal Zyhark and let him keep doing his thing. Try and save this brave archer. It's so ridiculously powerful. That's just his normal attack. That's not even like a crit. Just crazy. I shall bring Sophie up here to protect... He should be fine. Hey, there we go. Once again, his magic goes up. Which is weird to me. All right, yeah. Let's see what happens. This archer is like the ballsiest archer I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm gonna go into enemy territory and absolutely destroy people. <laughs> now my healer's got a psychic or, or a, a physic or whatever. He can heal me. They just they must be like best friends or something. He's <laughs> like, keep an eye on me. I'm gonna go like a mile out there. Just heal me when you see me get hit. Well, this might be the end. I think I think this is the end for the archer. Let's see, dodges. It was a good run. Valiant soldier. Great. I wish I knew his name. Zyhark has leveled up four times. <laughs> it's absolutely insane to me. I'm honestly... No, I'll, I'll still send him up. He's got to take care of these guys. Um, we'll heal him so we can send him back into the fray. Great. Um, he can't attack really. He can, but he can't reach. He can't reach. We're good. Just slowly pick him off. Okay, we're. We could do that. It's just so dodgy. I love it. Great. I'm like, really amazed that he's able to do that. One hit kill. Incredible. Come on. Yes! Finally, he dodges. He's capable of dodging. Amazing. Good luck. <laughs> Alright, how many guys are there? 13? We got this. I'm not worried about 13. Ooh. Got to cancel. He's all over that. Oh. Man, if she attacked twice, she'd be... She'd be so effective. It's not even funny. Right. 
think he's... Yeah, he's not going to last much longer. I have to have him take... Uh, I think he can half-shift back into his form. I can't remember what the, what the rules are for him. Oh, he finally got hit. Well, I really don't want him to die, so I'm going to have... Black Knight save him. I wonder if I can shove her down to try and heal him. I don't know if it's worth it because I might lose her. I think he'll be fine. I think that's it. Okay. Give me crit. Oh, come on. I know you got one in you. <clears throat> come on. We're almost there. So close. There's only six left, five left, something like that. We're probably on the right side. Dodgy. Good job. Come on. Where's that roguish crit randomness I need? Oh, I guess there's more, and I just need to defeat a certain amount. That kind of makes sense. Okay. There it is. Why couldn't you have done that the first time? You would have actually killed it. So I just need to kill three more. I think he should be okay. I'm gonna move the... Yeah, I don't wanna... Right, I sh should be all right. Possibly. I'll move my healer over just in case. Wonderful. Oh. Take it. You can do it. Even my even my uh, allies can double hit. It's crazy. Now, of course, Sophie's like, oh, yeah, I'll crit. I'll crit whenever I feel like it. <laughs> right, I think that was it. I think this guy is the last, the last guy. And of course, it's an ultra attack from the Black Knight. Yep. These guys are really clever. <laughs>
It's Teronio. I love Teronio. He's so strong. I did it. And only Jill died, who, eh, she's great, but I'm never going to use her once I get other people. All right, let's finish up this uh, story part right here, and then I'll get to a save, and then we can go. The day in army takes to the field and deals a heavy blow to the army of the Lagoos Alliance. This sudden aggression shocks the Alliance like a lightning bolt on a clear day. With their only avenue of retreat blocked, the forces of the Lagoos Alliance begin to despair. As the last shred of hope is fading, Skrimir appears before his troops and rallies them on, bolstering their failing strength. Galleon morale is further improved by the appearance of Tibarn and Ike's forces, who aid the Beast Army with talent and steel. Radiant Dawn is pretty good. I don't know if it's the best Fire Emblem, though, uh, Zabre. It's pretty good, though. I gotta admit. I love the story more than anything. The the Tellius, the, the two games that take place in Tellius are, I think, the best, some of the best story-driven uh, stuff. And I really like Path of Radiance just because it's fun. This game is just so much more punishing than Path of Radiance was. Let's begin the meeting. A little exaggerated, but yeah, definitely top two. Yeah, it's it's definitely up there. I would agree. Also, Jimmy, did you see my shirt? It's uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Also, thanks for the follow. I think you followed us like a day ago or something. Um, Zab Zabre? I'm, I say it like Sabre from The Office. Zaber? Zaber sounds kind of cool. No, I was not, unfortunately. Um, did Three Houses come out on Switch or was it on uh, like DS or whatever? Yeah, so it's um, it's the boys, it's the boys versus the seven. Pronounced it right the first time. Zabre, I like Zabre. Yeah, it's the boys. It's on Switch. I'll have to pick it up because I definitely did want to play it. And um, one of the other uh, guys who was who jumped on my stream chat uh, last time recommended it to me. And I honestly haven't played anything past Radiant Dawn. It's just been all um, handheld stuff and, and the old stuff. And, and then I grew up on the GameCube and Wii stuff uh, as it came out. But I should do that right. I should I should buy it like right now. My Switch is right over there. I'll, <laughs> I'll buy it after. <laughs> Maybe I'll play that for Extra Life or something. I just completely skipped through the uh, pump up speech. Okay, so we're at a save point. Uh, great. Tons of replayability too, with having multiple branching story paths. Okay, so that's what I was wondering last time, was how branching does the story get? Like, does it get, you know, um, like, oh, s small things here and there are changed, like character interactions, or is it like the story itself vastly differs from how you play and what you decide to do um but that's if it if it's that much of a significant departure from what someone else can experience if they play it a certain way that's you know um that's pretty cool it's just like three paths and is it like clear like you have three choices or or you know i don't know it sounds it sounds interesting regardless Cat fight. Don't 
Different endings depending on your paths. That's cool. Actually, four different endings. So four different endings total. That's pretty cool. Mm. Gotta level up Soren. I'll take care of all this stuff. Um, just because I... <laughs> Of course, two hours after I start, the chat finally gets going, right as I'm about to end. Alright, so four different endings for sure. Is one, is, is it like three main endings, and then the fourth one is like, oh, it's like the secret ending or something like that? <gasps> Titania is gonna... Ooh. This, uh, the emulator does not like these sequences at all. Oh, it sounds real bad. Please don't crash. <laughs> sounds so bad. <laughs> That's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's like a like a 10 year old game more than that it's like 13 year old game this emulator is struggling it really doesn't like magic uh, magic effects at all like has a really hard time with them that was crazy Oh, Boyd. Please be better. Ooh. I'm so happy so many of these people are close to leveling up. So like, look at his stats. They're so good. They're great. Got any skills I can give people? Maybe. Sure, why not? Alright. Uh you know what? Ike really needs an another blade. Like badly. I still only have I can't I don't understand. They still only have steel swords here. I don't know why that's so difficult to outfit him. If he would use the freaking Ragnell or whatever, he wouldn't have this problem. I mean... He could use a better axe, maybe? I guess. Sure. Oscar's fine. Why can't you sell all the 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 shop stuff? Like I want to sell a master crown, but he can't buy it. In the first game, it was like ten thousand gold. Whatever. Let me see that. Okay, right, I'm gonna save. Oh, one more. One more thing. I think I need to upgrade my supports. Oh, maybe I can't. Alright. Oh, oh, man. That was yet another solid uh, two hours and 15 minutes-ish of, of gameplay. Turn down this music real quick. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been Kyle Emblem. This is part nine next Wednesday at 9 p.m., which is when I go on uh, playing Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn until I beat it or until I literally die. 
um, yeah, you can you can come check me out here on Twitch at Subpixel Team. Give us a follow, give us a subscribe, anything you feel like doing. Uh, we have a ton of content other than just these streams. We are uh, slowly growing our YouTube content. We've got some really interesting uh, short form documentaries. One that Jake just did was on Lego Universe, the Lego uh, MMO that that came out uh, back in 20. 09, I think, or 2010, something like that. Check that out for sure. And then also we have Extra Life coming up on the 7th. So be sure to uh, watch us and donate for that. Uh, we're going to be streaming on here, actually maybe on YouTube, uh, for 24 hours straight trying to raise money for Extra Life, which is a great cause. Go check us out uh, and be here, be here on uh, November 7th for when we do that. But until then, I will see you guys next week. Uh, if I don't see you at the Extra Life stream, I'll see you next Wednesday at 9 p.m. playing more Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. As always, thank you for stopping by, and thank you for commenting and interacting. I had a really good time tonight. I hope to see you all there next week. Have a good night. Bye-bye!